tutorial. Today we are very excited because we have the pleasure uh, to guide you through the learning uh, experience of uh, Cha Cha uh, Natural Top into Closing Twist uh, ending into Fan Position. So we can definitely help you out and give you some tips on how to avoid the most common struggles like such as you know rising shoulders or dancing really tight into the space of each other so we can definitely help you out in that. But first, let's have a look at the steps. The ladies are dancing. And one, and two, and three, and cha, cha, one, and two, three, cha, cha, one, two, three, cha, cha, one, two, three, and cha, cha, one, and two. And three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and and one and two and three and cha cha one two three cha cha one two three cha cha one two three cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one and two three and cha cha one and okay now let's start to understand how to do the natural top the function of the natural top is to create a very strong centrifugal force still maintaining beauty in the upper part of the body and keeping a very clear rhythmicality in the feet in order to do that from a male perspective, I need to make sure that I do two things. First, I need to create momentum when I enter into the top. And then the second thing, together with my partner, I will be very focused on maintaining that momentum as we, as we go around each other. Now, um, let's start from the first step, actually the entrance into the natural top. If I start from my one, two, I do a check, I replace, and then I am my cha cha one. This is a very important step because on that one, through the foot place placement and the body weight transfer, I'm going to indicate the direction. So very important directions of the step. And the second thing very important is to understand through the frame to create the space and then man how to maintain it, what I have to do to do that. So once I do two and three and cha cha one, what I'm physically doing, I am thinking about stretching my elbows sideways and giving my frame forward to my partner. And the purpose is, so let's do, and one and two and three and cha cha one so now as i stretch my elbow sideways i have created width and through giving my frame forward i will start to build up an internal position that it starts actually from the position of the pelvis what i'm thinking as i get the frame is to give the frame forward and at the same time I will dance my pelvis backward, away from my partner, right? Which doesn't have to be misunderstood with tilting my, the pelvis back. Like for example, we do in samba. That's completely different movement. What is the difference? When we tilt the pelvis backward, I keep the upper part of the, pelvis, of the uh, hip bone exactly where it is, but the lower part changes um, distance from the floor, let's say, because it goes a little bit up, right? While when I dance my pelvis straight back, the old box, hip box, it moves parallel to the floor, right? So I need to think about really dance my pelvis backward, both the upper part of the pelvis and the lower part, right? So let's try it one more time. 
We have and one and two and three and cha cha one. Okay, so stretch sideways, dance pelvis back and frame forward. All right, now we have already created enough space between each other so we can dance in it. All right, so once I have done the first step, one, as you can see, this is, this is a, a one type of side step. We're gonna dance as a male, two type of side step. Could be either slightly forward or slightly back. If I show you from the side, it will be not just a regular side step, but it's gonna be slightly forward or slightly back. It's not actually a diagonal step, that's different. If I do, what is the difference? If I do a side step slightly forward, the position of the foot will remain the same. If I do diagonally, then my body will change as well. All right? So if I'm going to go, it's exactly the same uh, foot position, but I will place the foot slightly forward. That's all. Now, the purpose of, of this um, the, of this detail, it's because I need to create, first of all, momentum, and then enough space for my right foot that is gonna cross back. And through the change of my, actually my eyes, through my eyes, I will start the rotation, and then as I step, the, the sternum will follow. And that's how I will let uh, Natalia understand what kind of steps we're gonna dance. All right, so let me try and show this to you. So we're gonna dance. And one, and two, and three, and cha, cha, one. All right, beautiful. Now, um, the next step is gonna be a delayed walk backward. Now, the, uh, the particular part about this step is that it starts with a toe and then continue that ball flat as I am rotating, all right? So as I do my one, two, now I place the toe. And as I continue turning the sternum and as a consequence the frame, I will lower, I will, I will continue the placement of the heel down as I step to the side, yeah? So I will dance my two and three and, cha cha one and two and three now from this position this side step it becomes slightly back because the next step i need to create space for my uh, cross in front every time we dance cross in front we have to remember that uh, the foot doesn't really replace but i have to through a swiveling action i just have to rotate the, the toe and uh, through the work of the uh, left ankle, I'm going to tuck my knees together. And that's gonna be a lunging cross, yeah? So if I do my one, two, three, now I have cha-cha one. On that cha-cha one, that side step, it's only a ball because it's gonna be half a beat. I don't have time really to lower the heel there. So it's gonna be, and one, two, three. Now, cha, cha. I do not lower the heel. The heel stays up. And then I cross in front. And then I continue. Two, three. Cha, cha, one. Now, here on the second bar, I'm going to dance a chasse. And the reason why I dance a chasse, because we always alternate who creates momentum and uh, who follows it? Who stays on the inside of the circle? Who stays on the outside? On the very first bar, cha, cha, one, two, three. I'm gonna stay in the center because I'm dancing cross in front, side cross in front. And, um, and on the second bar, when I dance my chasse, I'm gonna be on the outside circle, all right? So we have two, three, cha, cha, one, two, three, cha, cha, one, two, three, cha, cha, one. 
So as you, as you can see, it's like uh, if that is the center, I am dancing chasse around it. I'm not dancing towards the center. This is the, one of the most common struggles where we feel really, really crowded. The space becomes so small and then we go up. So in order to avoid that, we have to be very clear and aware of the space and directions between um, the two of us. So to finish that, we have cha cha one, now across behind, then I have a side step, I will throw the here. I cross behind, then I go sideways, and then I start to do my action to dance my uh, lock step forward, cha cha one. The particular part about that one, the third step of a lock step, it seems I have to go into an open and out. My frame changes, so basically rotates before I'm doing that, actually while I do that one because it has to be rotated before the two, right? So if I do slowly, it will be and, cha, cha, one and two and. Now on two and, my frame has to be on the right side, like extremely on my right side, otherwise I will not create space for my partner. And I dance my two and. Now on three and, I need to replace the frame as I dance my delayed walk backward. So I have check, two end, three end. Now on the end, I just a toe. Now I have cha, cha, and one and two. Three and cha, cha, one end. Just last thing I would like to mention, when I dance with the, my round de chasse, we said there is a toe, then is a ball of foot. Now, as I dance my ball of a foot, I have this um, slide of the right foot. What is the purpose of that slide? First of all, I need to create space for Natalia hip, because she will dance a beautiful motion here. And then, to, together with that slide, I'm gonna create space between my ribcage and my hip bone, in order to, to create momentum for my one, in order to dance um, impressive. Right? One end, two end, three end, cha, cha end, one end, two, three end, cha, cha, one end. So the lady steps on. We have and the back on one, then we have back, replace, and then we have lock step forward, cha, cha, one. As Manuel mentioned, that on that one, he's going to start turning his sternum to indicate me where I'm going. And exactly for that reason, I will take a step on one right between his feet. So I'm, I'm aiming to go forward, but since my partner changing the direction, I will place my right foot right between his right and left feet. Can I ask him help, please? So we go. And one end. Now we go two end, three end. Now I'm locking forward. Cha, cha. And now I'm stepping right between his feet. And my frame and my stern I'm going to change a little bit to the right. Um, Manuel also mentioned that we're using this uh, balloon idea, hugging a big balloon when we go into the frame and we're moving our hips uh, towards backwards. We're moving our hips backwards as we're creating that frame, okay? So that part is equally valid for the ladies as well because only together we can create that feel of hugging the balloon and create that volume that we all dancers strive for, right? So, so there are two things here. I'm going into my lock step, which I'm gonna explain in a minute, we're having lock step and the last step of the lock step, I'm stepping right between my, my man's feet and I'm creating that hugging frame by dancing my arms forward, wide, wide elbows to the side and forward and my pelvic, my, my, my whole pelvic area I'm going to dance backwards. Okay, so the next step we have and one. Then we have 
forward walk turning actually we have forward walk turning and for that um, when we do that step we have a chance ladies actually articulate our foot so we have and one and then we have a cross in front when we're doing cross in front always remember that you have two legs what does it mean we need to connect our inner thighs and by rotating our right leg uh, out i would like that you activate your standing legs heel and tuck your knees together and connect your inner thighs that way we will achieve beautiful latin cross position and we will uh, have nice um, line in the legs and feet the next step is a sha set sha sha one on the chasse, I would like to mention that I'm using slightly soft knees to achieve beautiful musicality, okay? When we talk about musicality, on the foot, beel, on the foot beats we use the, um, the sound which is um, zagka, 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 and then on the heartbeat, ding, ding. So on that ding, ding, I would like that you use slightly soft knees and smaller steps so and ding ding one finishing sideways with the turn turn out right foot then we have cross in front and sideways and then again cross in front then we have actually a repetition of uh, stepping sideways and crossing in front for the lady it's very important while we do that repetition not to slide our feet around the floor but actually accuracy of the foot placement and activation of the standing leg plays a very important role here so what we do we activate our inner thighs turning out our free foot rising our left heel up and ending up in the cross position in a, with a nice uh, leg line and feet line and feet position while we have our knees crossed Okay. Then we do the repetition of those side cross in front, side cross in front, finishing with the lock step. Cha, cha, one, and. And twist. So once we have an end, now she mentioned something about um, that she was going to let me feel her body weight uh, without being heavy. Now, yes. Now, she does it wonderfully because I can clearly feel her uh, right uh, leg where it is, but I can also sense that uh, she has a very strong right foot, the work between the right foot and her center. I mean, she's really like on her own in a way, but uh, she gives me, as she times the dancing of her right thigh, I can actually feel it in, in, in my hand. And then I can even, gel in together, yes, through dancing my left thigh, right? So as she dances hers, I kind of like gel in. And that, as we, as we dance that leg together, then is the moment where my spine starts. Yeah, of course, it's not gonna be now, I'm exaggerating just to give you a chance to see it when it actually happens. But after her um, hip twist, now she hits me because I, I keep doing it and break it, so. And the two, and the three, and the cha. Now, that forward turning, as she showed beautifully, she's gonna go forward. Now, as she goes forward, so she placing the foot, as she transfer, I am literally taking my hand towards my hip, and that's the lead, yes? So that's basically the reason why she changes uh, uh, direction. So, do it one more time. And two, and three, and now, common mistake. It's very easy to fall into the mistake, especially from the guys, to go back, replace forward with a hip. If I replace forward, actually I should do it on my own so you can hear me see. If I go backward and then replace forward the hip, if I dance my hip directly and I don't create enough space in the center area, then we will feel very crowded, all right? So what I have to think is a back, as I am replacing first, I need to create this slight space between my ribcage and the hip bone so that I, 
I have the space here. And then through the settling of the hip, that's the moment where I, I basically say, uh, take the, my hand towards my hip. Yes? So we have and two, three, and. Now, through that end, I have so much opposition in my body. And then I use that to dance my cha and cha. One end. All right? Uh, so, regarding the space between the hips and the upper part of the body, Manuel said for men it's very important to keep those very uh, high sides, yes? And very um, elegant and beautiful upper part of the body. I would say for ladies, it's same important. So we have to be very careful when we let him feel him uh, the weight of our hip, which is wonderful, and as we're doing it here and we're showing our curves, we have to remember to keep our sides very uh, high, right? So we need to stretch them up, and as we go uh, down with our hip towards the heel without collapsing in the ankle. I still would like you to show this beauty in the upper part of the body with high sides. Okay, so so achieving that beautiful presentation look, we're going to continue into two and three and cha cha one and so my responsibility will always be different. We have three parts. On the first bar, I will try to maintain the uh, inside circle. On the second bar, what I do to my chasse, I will go much more on the outside circle. And on the last one, I will maintain the, uh, in, uh, the center of that circle in order to create a nice wind up for the opening out. So it's gonna look like this. And one. Two and three and cha cha 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 one and the two. So as you could see, uh, we have decided a little bit to add uh, some extra things. Uh, for example, on the last uh, cha cha one, I have on purpose decided not to dance a lock step, but uh, instead to replace it with a. Uh, um, cross in front, side cross in front, um, because I, as a decision, I personally like the fact that I use the momentum that we have created throughout the old natural top, and um, I didn't really feel uh, that was the best option for me to continue and slow down too soon with a lock step. Yeah. And uh, the other thing is, um, I personally like uh, very much to step sideways after I dance my cha cha one and two to dance like a side caracha instead of like a check replace for two main reasons the first is because natalia will have much more space and then the second one is because when i step to the side having my feet apart i will have a much more dominant uh, uh, position all right so and as a lady i would like to add that i would be happy to follow that because it creates and uh, allows me to dance a little bit more my body within the frame that Manuel creates and for that reason that frame is going to be big bigger on that, for that moment and one and two so on that two when when we're not too crowded i have a chance to show more um curves. hip curves yes and more turn out on my left foot because my body is not straight anymore but uh, as you see, amount of turn changed and uh, the um, position uh, as well changed.
today continues to create entertaining and educational content because of the contributions from viewers like you. If you would like to donate to the channel, please click on the Patreon link in the description below. Thank you for your support.